Hey everybody, I'm Mama Beard and welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I have another Frugal Friday. Now the Frugal Fridays are a little different just because I'm going through a move right now. So we are downsizing and I'm kind of focusing on that, eating through my pantry. So I'm not doing too much of pantry hauls. However, I do always stop and look at meat deals and for what kind of sales are going on, just in case it's something that I could use. And with us having to move, I got some convenience foods, but also I got some food where I'm gonna recreate my favorite Friday night meal that I get if I were to go out. So we're gonna get in here, we're gonna show you what I got at our local supermarket, Super One, and then I'm gonna cook some fantastic loaded nacho fries for dinner. If you're new to my channel, my name is Carolina. I live in Montana. I do a lot of pantry cooking, budget shopping, and product reviews on my channel. If that's the kind of content you're into, I hope you'd consider subscribing. I'd love to have you come join my YouTube family. I also have a Facebook group, Mama Bear's Homestead. Please come and join me over there. We do a lot of recipe sharing. I'll do quizzes and all kinds of things over there. And I would love to get to know you. So go ahead and come join me over on Facebook. All right, guys, let's get in here and let's see what I got. The first thing I'm gonna do, show you my new coffee mug I got from my dad. I got rid of five and I got one. I think that's fair. If you've never heard of Super One before, I haven't before I moved here, but it's a really good budget store. And my favorite thing about them is that they do instant coupons and they do it in dollar amount instead of percentage. So you can get some really good deals. For example, I got some pork, boneless pork chops, which I usually just end up dicing this and using it to replace chicken in a meal. So this is one pound exactly at $3.98 and it was a $2 off coupon. So I only paid $1.98 for this. This can really make a really good budget-friendly meal by catching meat when it's like this. And pork is actually really good and quite easy to cook and substitute for any kind of protein. And then they have some hamburger on sale. This is the 8515, which I guess isn't too bad. Um, this one was a little more expensive at 628 a pound. So I guess this is the higher quality, higher quality, less fat hamburger. I usually don't care what the fat percentage is on the hamburger. I just go whatever's cheapest and I always get what's on sale. So it doesn't really bother me too much if I get the 80-20, but the 85-15 was on sale and it had $10 off. So this is three and a half pounds of meat and then it was at 6.28 a pound at 22.42, but with $10 off that drops it down to 12.42. So it drops it down to 3.47 a pound, which is way more affordable than 6.28 a pound. I'm gonna get this cooked up and vacuum sealed and it's going in my freezer. So that way I have cooked meat in my freezer and we're also gonna use some of this to make our nacho fries for tonight. So for the fries, I got a bag of crinkle cut fries. So this bag of fries was on sale for $3.48 and it's two pounds. So I think that's a pretty good deal. This is gonna be, I'm only gonna use half of this, probably for both husband and I. And look, they had mini tater tots. I've never seen mini tater tots before. So I got this as well. This was a little more expensive at $5.28 for one pound, 12 ounces. So this really is a lot more expensive for this one versus these ones. But mini tater tots looked fun and um, we're good this to try. And I thought this would work well for the kids to make them the little nacho bowls. They'll be able to use the mini tater tots so it's easier to eat. Small thing of sour cream, which was $1.88 for a pound of sour cream. And then we got our burger here. And then I did stock up on some breakfast sandwiches. These were $2.48 and it comes with two of them. I think that's a pretty good deal. My husband's probably gonna have two at a time for breakfast. Um, and I got these mostly for him because the kids are going to back to school and they get breakfast and lunch, like reduced breakfast and lunch. So they're not gonna need it as much. And lately I do not have any breakfast stuff made up for my husband and he's been having like cereal, oatmeal. Sometimes if I'm in it, if I'm in the mood, I'll make him a fried egg sandwich, but he needs a little more heartiness. And with this only being $2.49 for two of them, I figured that was a good deal. So we had sausage egg and biscuits, sausage egg croissants, got two of those, ham, egg and cheese muffin, sausage egg and cheese muffin so i got two of those so i got enough for six breakfasts for him for whenever i am busy with the kids or having to move or something he'll be able i'll be able to throw some breakfast in the microwave real quick and then for dessert they had these on clearance as well this was a two dollar coupon and it's 3.98 for a big slice of red velvet cake husband loves red velvet cake so i got that for him but then they also had cheesecake which was this was ten dollars and then it had a five dollar off coupon so I saved $7 in dessert. Got this mostly for husband and um, we'll see if he likes it. I might chuck one in the freezer, but he loves cheesecake, so. 
well, he'll be fine. So that'll give him some sweets. They didn't really have anything else for sweets. Oh, I did get some cupcakes the other day, like the Hostess cupcakes. They were baseball themed and they were on clearance for a dollar a box. So I got two of those. So the kids have those for their kind of their snacks. So this one, I think I'm just going to vacuum seal and get this in the freezer. I'm not even going to top, chop it up or do anything. The only thing, the one thing I like to do when I'm vacuum sealing this is I like to keep the container and all the information, but I want it to seal better. So I just pop a little hole in this and then I vacuum seal it in this whole container and that helps it so I can see when I got this, I can see how much it is, what it is exactly, and I don't have to worry about it going bad and getting freezer burn if it takes me a while to get to this. So that's what my plan is with that. So we're gonna get all this put up and then I am going to make those loaded nacho fries. So hold tight. All right guys, I got the mini tater tots cooked. Aren't those so cute? Oh my gosh. Okay, so we're gonna turn this into the nachos. I also cooked all my meat. That's the hamburger. Plus I had a little bit of cooked bacon that I like to add to my hamburger because I have a lot of extra bacon. I grind it up and then I mix it with the hamburger. So one, it stretches it a little further. Two, it adds flavor. So I got three packages of cooked hamburger slash bacon, but I just say hamburger for the freezer ready to go. So that way if I needed quick dinner, I already have the hamburger cooked, sealed, ready to go. We're gonna convert this into the nachos. Let me show you how to make them. All right, so we're gonna put a little bit of the meat, I just added salt, pepper, um, a little bit of Korean pepper flakes, which is not too spicy, but I'm trying to use up my spices. So I'm gonna add this to it. And then I had um, garlic powder, salt, pepper. I think that's what I said. Oh, minced onion. I added some minced onion to this as well. Alrighty, so I'm just gonna throw this in the microwave to get this cheese melted. You could also put it under a broiler if you don't wanna use your microwave. But we're gonna throw this in for, let's do like 45 seconds and then we'll see how it looks. All right, so that was for a full minute. That's really good. Let's put our tomatoes on there. And just by adding that little bit of tomato on there, you've made the whole entire dish healthy. Yay! All right, now we got the sour cream. I'm just gonna put half of it on there. Not all the kids like it. Now I'm making one big plate. I'll probably put it in individual bowls or shoot, just let them each give them a fork. Family style, that's how we do it around here. Oh yeah. All right, all right, you convinced me. Let's try a bite. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Straight in the middle. Now this is just for the kids, but I'm also gonna be making husbands and eyes, and we're gonna put jalapenos, we're gonna put olives. Mm. Oh, that's good. All right, everybody, our fries are done. I have Fiesta cheddar cheese that I'm going to put on ours. I think I'm going to put the cheese first and then the meat. Give that a try. Because the meat was kind of loose all on the bottom there. For the kids, I separated that between the three. Worked perfect. I probably went a little light in the meat for this dinner just because I did four cups in each of those frozen ones. And I just kind of used what was left over. We're gonna get four dinners out of this, which was $12, so that's $3 dinner. I think that's pretty good. All right, let's put this in the microwave. I'm gonna do a minute. Thanks, Mama. You're welcome. I also had the tater tots in it. Mmm. Tater tot. That's what made it extra yummy. I have some mini tater tots, I, th I agree. Alright, now we're going to put the tomatoes on there. And then I have some jalapenos here. I'm just going to use up this whole jar. Get it out of my fridge. I love jalapenos on stuff. What about you guys? 
Jalapenos. Jalapenos. All right, and then I have some olives here. This is ones where I had a big can and I re-canned them into smaller portions. If you did not know you can do that, I will leave that video linked below. It comes in handy for a lot of different things that come in like number 10 cans. You can do some condiments and stuff as well. And there we go, look at that. Now that's an order of loaded nacho fries. I don't know about you guys, but they'd probably be 15 to $18 in a restaurant. And I got it all from Everyday Pantry Ingredients. Look at that. Oh yeah. <laughs> well everyone, thanks for coming along and trying some loaded nacho fries with me. That is one of my favorite dishes when I go out to eat. What is one of yours? Let me know in the comments below. I hope you have a fantastic weekend, and I'll catch you next time on Mama Birds. Now that is some loaded fry. Wait. Loaded nacho fries. Now that's an order of loaded nacho fries. <laughs>